Augusta has sent many things to Atlanta over the years. Braves fans, college students, sales tax revenues, but in 1868, we sent the very first Republican governor. I'm talking about Rufus Bullock. Most Georgia legends portrayed Bullock as a shifty carpetbagger who looted the treasury, then hustled out of town one step ahead of the law. In her epic, Gone with the Wind, Margaret Mitchell writes of the scandals of the Bullock administration and has Scarlett O'Hara actually mortified to find out that Rhett Butler and Bullock are friends. But that image, like much of Miss Mitchell's work, was mostly fiction. The Augusta businessman, who once lived on Green Street and attended St. Paul's Church with his family, was by most accounts an honorable, principled gentleman who got into trouble when he refused to play politics. Born in rural New York, Bullock came to Augusta for a business opportunity before the war. When the fighting began, he stayed, volunteering his expertise to the Confederate Quartermaster Service. He did a job so commendable, the Augusta Chronicle thanked him in an editorial in 1864. After the war, Bullock gravitated to the Republican Party. He was popular, he was articulate, and in 1868, he was elected governor of the state of Georgia. According to historian Russell Duncan's 1994 biography of Bullock, the new governor could have avoided the wrath of the Democrats if he had only agreed to deny voting rights for newly enfranchised black Georgians. Bullock refused and the Democrats filed fraud charges against him in a deal involving bonds. Realizing his political effectiveness was gone, Bullock quietly resigned in 1871 and left the state. What they didn't teach us in history class was that Bullock returned to the state a few years later and was exonerated and remained in Atlanta as a popular businessman for decades. His proposals on regional industrialization were adopted by Henry Grady, the celebrated newspaper man, who made speeches on this vision of a new South. By the time Bullock died in 1907, the Chronicle wrote, he did not loot the state nor benefit from it, but was sincere in his efforts. He was forgiven, but then forgotten. Actually, Bullock was not the last Republican governor that Augusta sent to Atlanta. That would be Benjamin Connolly, who as president of the Senate took the governor's office when Bullock left town. So I guess you could say we've sent more Republican governors to the State House than any other city in Georgia.